Chairman at uh, Craters of the Moon, Idaho. Lariat Cave, I guess. L-A-R-I-A-T. It might also be the same as Crystal Ice Cave. Not sure if it's the same or different cave. Haven't been here. Haven't done this. Should be funny. Right, I'm going to turn on my flashlight. I don't have crimpons, so if there is actually a lot of ice on the path, I might have to abort and then start over. But anyway, here we are. Here's a lava tube. Wow. Who would have guessed there'd be lava tubes at Craters of the Moon? <laughs> anyway. What's funny, the sign is there to stay on the trail if available. Oops, hang on. Okay, there's 100% brightness on my flashlight. The floor is damp here. At first I thought it might be ice, but so far so above freezing. Notice over here, the wall, there's a nest up on top there. And that white stuff is animal poo. The green stuff is, you know, mole, or, uh, you know, something growing in the sunlight. At the entrance, I saw a small animal. I'm not sure if it was a, you know, rabbit or a rat. It ran away too fast for me to get a picture. It's before I had my camera going. Whatever it was, I missed it. Oh, well. Pretty red on the ceiling here. Ooh, ah. Uh. Oh, there's a sign here. Just my luck is this keep out. Uh, <laughs> Notice the floor is super flat here. Oh, L A R I A T. Lariat Cave was restored. BSA, I think that's Boy Scouts of America, Troop 313, Eagle Scout Project, I'll pull over to 2012. Take nothing but pictures, leave only footsteps, kill nothing but time. Craters of the Moon. Here's some more stuff. Okay, remember to tell someone where you're going. Yeah, yeah. Oops, hang on, my focus is being stupid. There we are. Leave the wildlife, public land. <laughs> Don't spread white nose syndrome, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you have a plan. Okay, whatever. Of course, a map would help with that plan because I have no idea how long this cave is or if it's a big maze. It's not as steep as I expected for a nice... Oh, what the heck? Hang on. My gimbal is pointing the wrong way. Uh, it didn't malfunction. I accidentally put it in the wrong mode. All right. Anyway, I was going to say this is a very, very flat cave for an ice cave. Most of the ice caves I've been to, they have a very steep entrance. Kind of suspicious. It is sloping downward though. Can't argue with that. It's definitely cold in here. Maybe 40, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's above freezing. I don't see any sign of any moisture. Like not even, other than the sand floor being a bit damp, it's actually pretty dry in here. So no sign of ice, obviously. Very interesting. So a little bit of ceiling uneven because of a breakdown on the floor here. It's like the only rough spot in this whole cave so far. Everything else is really smooth. Very, very easy cave. A little bit of roughness on the ceiling, but keep in mind it's eight feet tall. So, unless you're a basketball player. I'm wearing a helmet, though, just in case. I've never been in this cave before. Could be tricky. I can see the, floor, the cave is sloping down ahead. Here's a nice big breakdown pile. Some more colorful rocks on the ceiling. Usually where you have the breakdown is where the cave is the most colorful from rocks. Of course, it'll be prettiest when we find some ice, if this really is an ice cave. <sighs> Notice there isn't a lot of graffiti in this cave, like the caves that are closer to the big cities. This cave's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so keeps the riffraff out. The caves that are closer to the I-84 corridor. Those are the ones that have been abused. Oh, cool, a three-way intersection. Be funny if I got lost. All right, well, here we go. I'm gonna keep turning right to go counterclockwise. Wow, this is fun. So look at this. There's a way over there. This is the way out. 
So for this time, I'm gonna turn right. How bad could it be? Would be nice if I had a map of this cave so I knew what I got myself into. Oh well. Okay. Wow, look how red the ceiling is here. Ooh, ah. Uh. Now they ask us to stay out on the trail. If there is one, uh, I guess it's gonna be easiest to the left side here. So I'll go down here. Suppose this is the trail where everybody else goes. Cause this is just a breakdown pile on the right here. I had to go to the top though so I could see, make sure I don't get lost. Be quite unfortunate if I got myself lost here. Or stuck, or dead. It'd be funny if it rained so much my car got stuck in the mud. I don't think, the weatherman says it's not going to rain. So obviously it's raining. Don't get me started. It's another breakdown pile. Notice the wall there has kind of got weird ambers and browns. The ceiling has grays and reds. It's like two or three different caves duct taped together. Boy, this is a fun cave because it's super easy but big. It was easy to find too. Just like Bear Trap Cave, there are signs saying how to get here. So if you pay attention, drive only during daylight hours, can't really get lost. Just make sure you bring a map, your cell phone, GPS and all that just in case. Want as much redundancy as possible so you don't get lost. Wow. Look how white the wall is here. Still no sign of ice though. Makes me wonder if I get to get to the end and there's suddenly gonna be a big cliff ice at the bottom. I don't know how deep this lava flow is. There's no ranges around here to ask questions. You'd think a national monument would have a ranger. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, it's funny it says stay on the trail. But I don't see any sign of a trail. But you'll notice at the top of this rock pile, somebody did make a rock pile. So I guess they're marking the way Either they got bored. Whoops. Uh, looks like it's gonna be easier to the left though. All right, well, kind of too late now, I'm up here. Ugh. Now I'm kind of boulder scrambling. I have to be careful not to get my foot wedged in between two rocks. Potential to get stuck doing that. Yeah, I think I just went the hardest way. Oh well. Wow. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Hello. Okay, this is the way out, right? Above it, there's an upper level. This rock pile, holy cow. I couldn't fit through there, but it goes back dozens of feet. Wow. That is cool, but yeah. So look at this. There's a tube down there to the left. Or I can go to the right. I'm gonna stick with my plan to keep going to the right. So I go counterclockwise. Follow a simple pattern usually works. The only thing is, it's possible to go around in circles in a big maze. So I do have to be careful. Sometimes I think I should bring some little like breadcrumbs, but then I have to go back the way I came to pick up the breadcrumbs. So yeah, kind of violates no trace. Wow, there's a way down here too. So this is actually a four way intersection for the lower level. Cause I could go through there or I can come down here. Obviously I want to do both. Unfortunately, I'm acting as a particle, not a wave. Oh, this is a dead end, but I still want to check it out. This is really cool. 
So this is like a plug. There was a tube here, it's plugged now. Just like the upper level to a lake cave. This is really cool. I've never seen a plug quite like this. Usually it's flatter. Cool. All right, then. Okay, well, there's one dead end, which is kind of a relief. If it keeps going forever and ever, that's when it gets ugly. Wow. I should have looked up how long this cave is. <laughs> oh well. Ugh. Oh, this, there's graffiti. You know what that means. Usually people get the end and then they mark it to prove they've been to the end. So if this, there's graffiti here, might be the end of this tube here. Which brings up the question. Where's the ice formations? Could be in a different tube. Could be in the wrong type of gear. Or this isn't really an ice cave. All right, well, all right. Let's go back and see if I can get myself unlost. So far, no sign of ice. Okay, so there's the way out, way over there. Before I do that, I'm gonna come down here to the right, see if there's another tube I can explore. To my untrained eye, looks like there could, shoulda, maybe might be. So there's the way out. I definitely want to check out this side passage. Notice there's no arrows though. Sometimes people put arrows to mark which way is out. But yeah, oh wow. I don't want to do any serious crawling. If it gets too small, I'm gonna give up. But, oh wow. Oh geez, I'm crouching down now. I'm on my feet, wow. Okay, it's gonna get smaller and smaller. I really don't feel like crawling around on my belly because I have no idea how far that goes. Could be 10 miles for all I know. So you know what, I'm gonna bravely go back the other way. It could, it might not be a dead end. Oh, uh, I was in a cave yesterday. It looked like a hard part. Turns out it reconnects around the other side. So I was still able to get to the other side without crawling. I'm breathing loud because I'm bending over forward. It's harder for me to breathe. <sighs> there. Now I'm standing up straight. Okay. See that rock pile? That's the way out. Or a way out. So before I worry about that, see if there's anything here on the right I missed. Yeah. This is really cool. This would be a really good place to take people who are kind of new to caving, but want to learn the harder caving. Yeah, this is the way I came in. This is the way out. Because remember when I came in, I pointed out, there's the rock pile. So without crawling, I've done this end of the cave. Well, this too. I think there are more branches ahead. 
so I can go see if those go any better, farther, easier. So far, I'm really happy with this cave though. Whew. Looks like it's easier to go to the left. I'm gonna stay to the right. I'm just looking around to make sure I'm not going the wrong way. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go on top of this rock pile to look around. Yeah. Okay, good. This is one big tube. I want to make sure I wasn't taking a turn I didn't know about, you know what I'm saying? This is my first cave of the day, so I got tons of time. But still, that doesn't mean I want to get lost, go around in circles, or squares, or octagons, or tetrahedrons. Anyway, all right, there's a trail to the left. I better get over here to the left. There's no point in crawling over. But yeah, look at the different colors here on the ceiling. Wow. Very pretty cave. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Here's a pile of breakdown rock. Oops, hang on, my stupid gimbals pointing the wrong way again. Come on down. Here we go. There's a right down pile here. Okay, good. I just want to make sure there's nothing behind it that I'm missing. Could conceal a secret exit. Well, I don't see any natural light, but still. Okay. So here's the deal. Look at this. I came in through there, right? Here's another way. No, somebody marked this with a pile of rocks. I'm not sure why. Now this one, the ceiling's only about five foot high, five feet high. Long story short, I'm gonna, I'll keep going as long as I can crouch down. But if I have to start crawling, I'm gonna just turn around. But I'm thinking this would be connect to that same one I was already at. So I'm not gonna miss a lot. Just some cave. Yeah, because this is going the right direction. I should have a magnetic compass with me so I could tell you which way I'm going. Oh yeah. So two things. One, it gets smaller here. And two, I think it just reconnects anyway. So there's no point. I was already over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around, go back out this way. See if there's any more cave I missed. Oops, bumped my head on the ceiling. It's funny, I used to go caving without a helmet. I was super careful. Never hit the ceiling. Now that I have a helmet, I keep hitting my head. It's like, False, giving me false confidence or something. Oops, darn it. Plus I'm several inches taller now with it on. <sighs> okay. So here's the way out. I'm gonna sit down, because I wanna show you, look at this. The floor on the side here, looks like water flow. Like it's when it's wet enough, there's a creek through here. The thing, if it's that wet though, <laughs> You'll have to come drive here. So think about that, whether it's a good idea or not. Excuse me. I had a big breakfast. It's 
It's not really an easy trail through here. Just gotta step over the smallest rocks I can find. Like playing hopscotch. Bring your own flashlight. Okay, this is the way I came in. As you can see, I was saying how the floor is really, really smooth here. And the ceiling, except where it came down a bit, it's mostly flat and smooth. Seems like it's colder out here than farther back in the cave. Huh. I see natural light. Is that the end of the cave already? Wow. I was expecting some ice. Oh, there's some graffiti in the wall. All right, never mind. Oops, hang on, my stupid autofocus. I accidentally clicked at the corner. Hold still, you fool. Just gotta, I'm gonna give it a chance to focus. There we go. Sometimes if I move the camera too fast, Oh cool, look at this. There's like a natural fixture up there. Really tiny little bridge. So yeah, if you see something like that, please don't touch it. It's fragile. Yes, it's solid rock, but it's small enough you could break it. So please don't do that. It's weird, notice it says Lariat Caves on the sign, the top one. Huh, weird, okay. Well, since I'm not gonna crawl through that end part, I guess we're done. Maybe if I were willing to crawl through that, I'd find ice. I'm not sure. <sighs> Looks like it's sunny outside. The weather forecast today is sunny. It's supposed to rain a little in the morning, but it rained a lot later than the weatherman said it was going to. Oh well. Makes it smell good. <laughs> Sweet smell of fresh rain. Knows there's all sorts of nooks and crannies there, but the easiest way over here is to the left by the big sign. Cool, I'm still my first flashlight, so that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna leave the camera going just in case I see an animal. Make the aperture a little bigger. All right, there we go. There's F over 22. So that was 23 minutes. It's not too bad. Yeah, right over here is where I saw an animal earlier. Looks like it's not there. 